Prestissima here. Today we are going to learn a French folk song called Au Clair de la Lune. So first we're going to sing and clap the song like we always do. The words are in French. So you can listen and you can also follow along with the words on the screen. Ready? One and two. Au Clair de la Lune, mon ami Pierrot. Wow, great job, everyone! Let's do it again, everyone! That was so fun! We're singing in French! Are you ready? One and two. Au clair de la lune, mon ami Pierrot, prête-moi ta plume pour écrire un mot. Ma chandelle est morte, je n'ai plus de feu. Ouvre-moi ta porte pour l'amour de Dieu. Wow, great job, everyone! Now that our French is so beautiful, let's try singing it on solfège. All right, this one starts on do. Ready? One and two. Do, 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 re, mi, re, do, mi, re, re, do. Do, 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 re, mi, re, do, mi, re, re, do. Re, 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 la, la, re, do, chi, la, so. Do, do, do. Now that we've sung it on the lyrics and on the solfege, we're going to learn it on the piano. All right, here's our music for Au Clair de la Lune. We are using notes from the C major scale, so no sharps or flats. Let's see, we have our grand staff here, our system. Here's the bar line. Here is the brace holding them together. And we're going to start with our right hand. So on our right hand, we have the treble clef. Here's the treble clef. There's the G line, and there's our middle C. We love middle C, and we're gonna play it with our one finger. So, C, 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 and then up to D. E, third finger, back down to D. Excellent. And then one finger, C, and then third finger, E, D, D, and then middle C again. Oh, I like this. Next page, this is our Next system, right? Middle C with our first finger again. C, 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 up to D with second finger. And then E with our third finger. Hey, wait a second, it's exactly the same. Back down to D, and then C, E, D, D, C. Okay, now that we've learned it, let's try from the very beginning up to here with our right hand only, but in rhythm. Ready? Here we go. One and Two and C C C D E D C E D D C three C C C D E D C E D D C. All right, that was pretty good. I think we can try the left hand now. So, let's go back to the beginning. All right, this is the bottom of our grand staff. We're gonna play with our left hand. This is the bass clef. Remember, the two dots around the F line? And so here we have C, E, and G. And we're gonna play with one, or one, three, and five. Like that. And they're stacked on top of each other, so we're playing them all at the same time. Excellent. All right, let's move on in this system. What's in this measure here? Oh, that's middle C, we know, right? Because it's the ledger line above the bass staff. Okay, so that's going to be our one finger now. And then below that, we have G and E. So we have C, middle C, G, and E below that. At the same time. Oh, okay. Excellent. 
Next system, we have G, that's above the F, right? That's gonna be our one finger. And then jump down to the G below that. Okay, with our five finger, very good. And then come back, same one up here, C, E, and D. Ah, okay, let's go to the next system. It's the same thing, C, E, and G. Okay, and then we know this one too, right? That's middle C on the top. Very good, C and then G and E below that. Okay, and then down to this G with your one finger, and then jump down to the G below that, five finger, and then up to the C, E, G chord. Beautiful. Okay, let's practice going from this chord to this chord. It's a little bit tricky looking, right? So let's try it. Here is C, E, and G in our left hand. Okay, now we're gonna jump up, we're gonna move our hand and play the same E and G here, but then also the, the middle C, right? So it's gonna change our fingering. So this is gonna be one, three, five. And then C, G, E. Right, okay. Now that we know how those go, let's try it again. Back to the lower chord, C, E, G. And then up to E, G, C up here. Okay, let's try it again. C, E, G. And then move your hand. Remember the middle C there. Excellent. Try again. C, E, G. And then jump up. Cool. And then keep practicing until you can make that jump really easily. Okay, I think we're ready to try hands together, okay? So we had the chord in the left hand, right? That one. And then we're starting on middle C with our right hand. So let's try it. We have C, 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 D. Oh, remember that jump in the left hand, right? E in the right hand, good. And then the G in the left hand, right? And then jump down. So good, okay. All right, next system here. Oh, we've done this before, right? C, 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 D, and then jump to the other chord in the left hand. Okay, D, and then G on the left hand. C, E, jump down an octave. Good, and then chord. That's pretty good. Let's try it in rhythm. Here we go. We won't go too fast, but I want you to practice this on your own until it's really easy, right? Here we go. One and two and C, 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 D, E, C, C, E, D, D, C. Very good. Next page. C, 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 D, E, D, C. Very good job, everybody. Now, as you can see, this is a single bar line, which means we're not at the end of the music yet, right? So we're gonna turn the page and see what's next. Oh, there's more. Okay, we're gonna start again, and we're gonna do just the right hand, okay? Here we go. Remember our treble clef? And so, you gotta find some notes now. This is F, A, and D. And I think we're gonna use our one, two, and five fingers, okay? So we have F, A, and D, right? Now, they're all on top of each other, right? So that's a chord that we're gonna play at the same time. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna play this D three more times, but we're gonna hold down the other notes while we do it. So we're gonna play all three, and then you're just gonna lift the five finger to play these notes again. So let's try that. So play the cold chord, F, A, D, and then play the D again, D, D. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's go to the next bar here. So then we have middle C in the bottom, and we're gonna still do one, two, and five. So C, E, and A, and that's at the same time. And then we're gonna do the same kind of thing where we play this A again, but we're gonna keep holding these, the C and the E down. So we're gonna play the whole thing at the same time, right? And then just play the A again. Excellent. All right, let's 
do that whole line again from here, okay? So we have this first chord, F, A, D, with one, two, five. And then we're gonna just play the D again, right? Because you're holding the rest down. And then we're gonna jump down here. Remember, middle C's down here. And then play this again, but hold the rest down. Okay. Maybe just one more time, ready? F, A, D. And then D again. D, D. Okay, and then jump down. There we go, I'm gonna play the A again. All right, good job. Should we go to the next system? Okay, this is the D with our five finger. And then down a step to C, B, A, oh, and then, so right now we're just going five, four, three, two. So five, four, three, two. And then we have to play this whole chord at the same time, right? So we're gonna pick up our hand the five finger is gonna go on the G, and then we have D and B with our one and two fingers. All right, can we find that? We have B on the bottom, D with our second finger, and G with our five finger. All right, should we try that line again? So, starting with our five finger on the D, so D, fourth finger C, third finger B, A, and then jump down. One more time. D, C, B, A, jump. Very good. Now, let's start the left hand on this page before we go to the last page, okay? So, what do we have here? We have, this is the ledger line above the bass clef, which would be C, right? But there's a note above that in the space, and that is D. So we're going to play that with our one finger. Four times, D, 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 and then A, we're gonna play with our fourth finger. And then next system, D, and then this is one, two, three, four going down. D, C, B, A. Okay, so A was with our fourth finger, and then we're gonna swing our one finger around underneath and go to the G. See that? G, and then F with our two finger. All right, let's try that again. So we have D, and then C, and then B, A, and then swing that finger under for G. One, and then two for F. Okay, that's not too bad, right? One more time. We have D, C, B, A, swing the finger under, G, Keep going, F. All right. What do you think, are we ready? Did you practice both hands separately? Okay, now let's try putting them together. Woo! All right, we can go really slow. Don't worry too much about the rhythm just yet. We have F, A, D in the right hand, right? Found that chord, good. And the left hand, it's gonna be the one finger on the D. Oh, and don't forget, we're gonna hold this down while we play those Ds, right? but we're gonna keep playing all these E's in left hand. Oh, lots to think about. Here we go. Did we do it? D, okay, good. Now let's jump down with the right hand. Oh, it's kind of a squeeze here, a little bit, right? So left hand is the A, and then we're gonna play this chord with our right hand. Good, and hold it all down with the right hand. Just pick up the A again and play. Okay, good, wow, that was a lot of work. Okay, let's just play that much again, okay. Let's try it. Here we go. From the beginning, right here. And then keep playing the Ds. D, D, D. And then the right hand's gonna jump down. Good, play the A again. Okay, I think we're ready. Next system. So we're gonna both start on D for both hands. So D, go down, C, B, A. And then both hands are gonna do something, right? So left hand swings under for the one, and the right hand jumps down. Here we go. All right. So this one you hold and it stays, right? And then you play this G in the left hand and then down to the F. Wow, okay. I think we should try that line again. All right, so starting on the D. So five in the right hand, one in the left hand. And then we're just gonna descend down one step at a time. We're at the A. 
left hand under, right hand jumps down. Wow. Let's try putting both systems together with both hands, okay? Wow. Here we go. So we have the D, hold it all down. D, 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 and then jump the right hand down. Okay, and then this descending line, D, C, B, A. Oh, remember, swing that left hand under and jump down. Good. F. Okay. Wow. Now that we've practiced it so many times, I think we can do it in rhythm. Ready? So find your place. Get ready. One and two and. D, D, D. Jump down. Play the A again. The descending line. A and then swing and jump. And then F. Ooh, very good. Okay. Let's move on to the last and final page. And how do we know it's the last and final page? Well, we see a double bar line. It means the end. So we're gonna come up here to the first symptom of the last page. And oh, it looks very familiar. Let's look at the right hand here. And this is a treble clef. So this is middle C. And we're gonna play it with our one finger. So C, 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 D, E. So familiar, right? Next system. C, E, D, D, C. Same as the beginning. So that means the left hand probably is too, right? So let's look at the left hand. We have C, E, and G in the left hand. One, three, and five. And then we have jump up here. Excellent. That's one, three, and five as well. And then we're gonna jump down to G. G below that. Okay, here's a new one. This is actually C, right? Oh, it's a really low C. And we know it's C because we had the middle line, ledger line. Remember when we saw the middle ledger line? That's middle C, right? And then two ledger lines above that, above this treble staff is high C, right? Two C's above this C. And then two ledger lines below this middle C is two C's below middle C. Wow, it's so low. So if this is middle C, two C's below. That's where that is. So we're gonna play the G, and then the G below that, and then this low C down here. Okay, so that's the only thing that's different from the other pages. So, why not? Let's do it hands together. Ready? Here we go, from here. We have C, 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 D, jump up, E, D, and then C, Whenever there's a challenging part in a song, we want to practice that part a little bit more than everything else, right? So I think the hardest part was this page, page three. And so we're going to practice it again with the right hand and then left hand. And then when you're comfortable, put them together again. So let's start here. We have F, A, D, one, two, and five. And then hold that down and play the Ds again, right? And then jump down, middle C here, uh-huh. And play the A again. And then this descending line, five, D, C, B, A, and then jump down. Okay, that's pretty good. Should we try it again? Here we go. Chord, D, 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 jump down. Good, play that A again. And then descending line, D, C, B, A, and then play this chord. Now, you play this as many times as you need to until it's really easy, right? But now I'm gonna work on the left hand. Okay, so we have left hand on the D, one, uh, with the one finger. So D, 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 and then A with the fourth finger. Good, and then this descending line, D, C, B, A, and swing that finger under, remember? G, and then F. Okay, that's a little bit easier than the right hand, so let's try it again. It's D, 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 A, A, and then descending line, D, C, B, A, swing under G, F. Okay, now I want you to play that line as many times as you need to until it's really easy. And then we'll try to put the two hands together, okay? 
So I have this right hand chord and the D in the left hand. I'm gonna hold the chord down while I play these other Ds, right? So D, 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 and then jump down. I'm gonna play the A again. I'm gonna play this descending line. D, C, B, A, swing under. Okay, and the F. Okay. Well, I hesitated a little bit because I wasn't super sure, right? But now that I've learned it, I'm gonna keep practicing them until I can play the whole thing smoothly, hands together, in rhythm, right? So, let's try practicing it again. Let's see. D, D, D. Swing it under. And make sure you play it as slowly as you need to as well. You don't wanna go super fast because you might not be able to play it that fast. So let's try it again. this time. I think I feel pretty good. Ready? D, 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 and jump. A, and then that descending line. D, C, B, A, and then swing and jump. Oops. Okay. Should we do it again? Let's do it again. until it's really easy to play, right? All right, let's start playing the whole thing from beginning to the end, hands together, okay? I'm gonna turn here, oh, there's a page turn, right? So while we're learning it, I'll go ahead and turn the page, but when you're performing it, it's gonna be memorized, right? So you won't have to turn the page. All right, here we go from the beginning. Middle C with the right hand, chord in the left hand. Let's see where we go. We'll just go through, don't worry too much about the rhythm, just kind of approximate. So we have C, 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 D, and then jump that chord, E, D, and left hand G, C, E, jump down, D, D, back up to the chord, very good. We have C, 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 D, jump up, E, D, oh, G in the left hand, C, Good, turn the page. Okay, oh, here we go. D, 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 and jump down right hand. And then A again, descending line. D, C, B, A, swing and jump. And then F in the left hand. Here we go, looks familiar. Jump up. D, and then left hand G. C, E, jump down. I'm going to play it all the way through from the beginning to end without saying anything. And I'll play it in rhythm. All right? Here we go. One and two. Now that we're pros at playing this with both hands, let's sing it with the lyrics. Let's practice our French. Here we go. Ready? One and two. Je n'ai plus de 
we're gonna do it on solfege. Okay, here we go. We'll go a little bit slower. One and two. Do, 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 re, mi. job everybody. Wow! So today we learned a French folk song called Au Clair de la Lune and we've been sang it in French and on solfege and we read the notes on the grand staff. So remember, keep practicing all your songs and your scales. Sing while you play and memorize everything. Press these out. <laughs>